just a little guy. We left the hospital and we made our way back to, to Jackfish, to Soto. And my father had made this, this cabin, log cabin, uh, packed with mud. That's what we stayed in. <clears throat> and in that cabin there was a bed and a table, chair, and, and those old stoves with the, the way they smell. And, oh, jeez. And, and I was told I, I lived there for the, for the first six months of my life. Well, one day it was, uh, it's going on winter, and my father was keeping me that, that morning, and my mom was up visiting, <clears throat> and so I, um, I was coughing, <clears throat> my father noticed that, he picked me up, I gotta go to the hospital, I went to the hospital, and I, I, it turned out I had uh, bronchitis, and um, my father got a hold of my mom. Oh, hey, hey, uh, come to the hospital. Yeah, Sonny's, uh, Sonny's sick. Okay. My mom got into the car, made it to the hospital, got into the, through the door in the elevator. Elevator went up the floor, back of the elevator, doors open. She stepped up. <clears throat> it was dark in the hallway. She thought, wow, maybe I'm in the wrong, on the wrong floor. Maybe I'm on the wrong floor. Hmm. So she turned back around. And before she got on the elevator, she heard this. <clears throat> she looked back around. Down that dark hallway, she could see a, an elderly gentleman, First Nations, who couldn't see who was crawling on the ground, trying to find his way. He lost his way in the hospital. That one that was crawling <clears throat> cleared his throat. <clears throat> My girl! He said to my mom, a stump. My mom came over. Can you help me up, please? I lost my way. She helped him up. Thank you. Um, can you help me back to my room? I, I don't know where I am. And he walked back to his room. Thank you, my girl. Hey, hey. My mom helped him sit down. Thank you. My mom turned to leave. Oh, chasqua. A stump. Ape, have a seat. And she sat there. And they sat there in silence. And my mom was thinking about her boy in the hospital, how she wanted to go and hold him and, and love him back to health. Wow. As they're sitting there in silence, the other could sense the fear in my mom. <clears throat> it's okay, my girl. It's all right. I'm, I'm just here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm just here to, to give you boy something. My mom thought, well, how does this guy know I have a boy? That's, whoa. Whew. And he stood up and said, no, 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 no. I, I'm, here to, I'm here to give you boy his spear name. My mom said, well, what's a spear name? And the spear name, it's, it's given to everybody and anybody to help them on their, their path in life. Way back, <clears throat> excuse me, way back before there were hospitals and before there was well, North Balfour and before there were other towns and cities. Way, way back on the plains here, Turtle Island, there were lots and lots and lots of First Nations people, millions, as many as the buffalo. And as the time went through, lots of our people passed massacred, smallpox, blankets, residential schools. The list goes on. Attempted genocide, all that stuff. All that stuff, my girl. But back then, there was societies, and there was government structures, and there still is that happening in some places. Back then, it was huge. And there were people, they had gifts, gifts that they could give people names. Me, I'm one of those people. I'm humbled, honored, and thankful. I work with the Creator, and I work for the Creator. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to give him his spirit name. That's what a spirit name is. It'll help him on his, on his path in life. His name, my girl, is Koyesk.
Pisaguea. Asane. Well spoken rock. Oh, my mom stood up. Looked over there. Grabbed some tobacco. Grabbed the other's hand. Said, thank you. Hi, hi. I'll tell that to him when he's older. Thank you very much. But I must go to him now. She turned to leave. But she had one more question she wanted to ask the other. And she turned around and all of a sudden, whoa, he was gone. Oh, look at that.